Well, here you go, everyone. Josh the Collector Guy. Happy 4th of July to all you American viewers out there. Hope you're having a good 4th of July weekend. Hope everyone's having a really good weekend. Hope you have been able to go out sometime during this week, as I usually say. Hope you've uh, stumbled across some really good scores, everyone. Hope you had an awesome week as well. Well, these are my finds for, for this week yet again, ladies and gentlemen. Got lots of cool little finds. What can I start off with? Well, found all these today at a little swap meet I went to. Went with Dad. Always good to go with Dad to a little swap meet. Found a few good, well, few, lots of good little bits and pieces. Old matchboxes, as you can see. Some Hot Wheels. Love my Byway Mans. Like some dinky carded matchboxes, if that makes sense. Racing Champions. We'll get to that a little bit later. Even some cars from my childhood. I'll share them with you just a little bit at the end. Just to compare the other one I bought today. Even though it's exactly the same. But I'll, I'll, I'll ramble on about that at the end for you. But start off with these little guys here. Went to a little um, sort of collectible shop. I usually go there every now and again. He usually has die cast cars. He, had them pretty he has them pretty cheap for what they are. This is what I found. Also went to an antique store and found this one, even though she's made in Thailand. I'll start off with the Corvette anyway. Another one for my Corvette collection in the matchboxes. I was so excited to find this one. Love the old bow tie on the front there with the Mighty Vet written in it. Really tough as Corvette. I love one of my favourite years of Corvette. I love the Greenwood racing Corvettes. I love these Corvettes. There's I don't think there's one bad year of Corvette, in my opinion, to be honest. I love them so much. Got another older, sort of, well, much older matchbox here. An old super fast, even though her wheel's a bit busted. I don't think she'd be super fast anymore. But an old Datsun, even though it says Batson there, by the looks of it. Thank goodness the camera focused, because you probably would have thought I was an idiot saying that. Very cool looking car, I have to admit. I'm not the biggest, um... Japanese car fan in the, fan in the world. I, I don't mind some of them, but I'm more of a mighty Chevrolet man or or General Motors guy. But lots of old cars I do love, regardless regardless if it's American, Japanese, Australian, you name it. I I really love all the old stuff. It that's why I grabbed it. It just looks so cool because it looked like one of those concept cars they built back in the day. Just I'm not sure why they would have built it. Probably just like a futuristic design at a motor show or something. But yeah, it just looks, just looks really cool. I love all that sort of aerodynamic stuff. Like They just come up some, with some of the most wackiest car designs some car makers back then and today. They're really cool anyway. I just thought that was pretty cool to get anyway. And these two little guys here, well, they'd have probably the biggest story to tell out of all my toy cars I have in my collection, regardless, Hot Wheels, Tamika, Matchbox, you name it. These are the old Lesneys. This is the old mighty Chevy Impala, made in England. As you can see, she might have been blue at one stage in her life. Whoop, and almost dropped her again, but I think she's dealt with worse. Bit of a crushed roof. Just so cool finding these very, very, very vintage matchbox... Well, not really matchboxes, Lesneys, I should say. And this one's a mighty Cadillac. Beautiful Cadillac. Love those fins. Even the when I bought it off the guy, he goes, Oh, you can't go wrong with the fins. You can't either. How cool. Love the detail in these little old ones. It's amazing for back then. I'd say these are the least would be from the late 50s, early 60s, I reckon, in my own opinion. I researched them, actually, on, um, I had a look on eBay. A few of them had quite high prices on them as well for absolute mint condition. Look at the big, mighty Cadillac. Such a beautiful car, as I always say. Cadillacs seem to make the most prettiest and beautiful cars in the world. Even today, they do seem to put out some really nice-looking cars, but... I am a biased General Motors fan, of course. So I thought those were pretty cool. Good little finds for Saturday. Because I hadn't gotten anything from eBay this week. Or even hadn't really gone or found anything, to be honest. But usually on my weekends, I seem to find stuff. 
Now we get to the swap meet finds. Lots of cool little finds. As I said, went with Dad. Always awesome to go with Dad to the swap meets. Always have a lot of fun. A little bit of a laugh here and there. See some really nice cars as well. And even some smaller, nice little small cars as well. We'll get to the racing champions first. You know what I've said about these old mighty Yanko Camaros. Absolutely love them. They're probably my all-time favourite Camaro ever produced. Even the Dick Harrell Camaros, they're, they're right up there too. Absolutely love them. And the ZL1 from 69. I, I think that's pretty much an impossible Camaro to get these days. Beautiful green. Limited to one of 5,125, which is pretty good in my opinion. Really nice car, really tough looking Camaro, but all years of the Camaros are, are nice in my opinion. Now a mighty 68 Camaro with the old Hot Rod Magazine 50th anniversary. This one's sort of limited as well. Not really much, but very tough looking Camaro as well. It's big fats on the back, little skinnies at the front. Probably a small block or big block Chev in the, in the front there. Just really nice. My favourite colours too. Well, some of my favourite colours. Really nice. Glad to have picked that one up. Don't usually find too many racing champions. Now, when I found these two, it was quite quite weird seeing dinky toys on a Matchbox. But I think at some point in time, Matchbox bought out dinky then started to use their name a bit. I think that's how it went. I could be wrong. But found two cars I really wanted, the old Corvette here, another one to the Corvette Matchbox Collection or Matchbox Corvette Collection, it's just a plain card it's just got dinky toys and on the back it's pretty much the same business they're pretty old though so pretty cool having something different in the collection very cool indeed, probably don't need to show you too much on the back it's not really exciting and a pretty cool looking Firebird, really nice indeed, old mate of Macau, it had the 80s written on the back there, 1987, it's probably around that year. Really, really cool looking cars, sort of reminds me of when Hot Wheels had the speed machines and they uh, marketed, marketed it as a different sort of car if that makes sense, but thought those were pretty cool to add to the collection and the old mighty Firebird and Corvette, you can't go wrong. And an old Vauxhall, I believe that says Guildsman. That's a real production car as well. Look, more of a concept car, just like the old Datsun. Very cool as, I, I don't mind Vauxhall. Vauxhall back in the day, I think, shared the same sort of cars as um, some Chevys and that. I think Vauxhall might be English or something. Oh, I'm not really too sure. I know over here in Australia, the Holden Commodore... I mean, the Holden Monaro, sorry, went over there and was called the Vauxhall Monaro. Like, the General Motors clan obviously shared around cars here and there to each each country or whatever, if that makes sense. So that was pretty cool. A little bit of a battered card, but as Dad said, you just got to love finding the old carded and old, old stuff. It's just so cool. Base is still shiny as well, which is really awesome. Love that old artwork there, the old Can-Am cars. Old, looks like some Hemi-Mobile or whatever. And maybe a Lola or a Porsche, so really cool. Get to the loose loose ones now. Another Corvette for the Matchbox Corvette collection made in Macau. That's a little bit probably around the 80s as well, I think. Very cool. Love this little year of Corvette as well. I seem to have a lot more of these Corvettes, though, in the Corvette collection, so... It's pretty cool to get this one. Another one of these LTD police cars. I, I just had to grab it. It brought brings back memories, especially the one from when I was a kid. As I said, I'll get to that later. I think this one is a color changer. In one of my previous vids, I had one which was a brownie color, like the desk here, I think. So that one's pretty cool. Got a few of these now, actually. So really nice looking police car, I have to admit. Another one of these mighty byway mans. I think I've got this one already, but I couldn't resist. I, I love my byway man trucks, power plowers, super scrapers, pavement pounders. I think I've said every single name. Path beater, I think it was called at one stage. But you know, I I love these trucks. The bits I always keep going on about. It, so really awesome to get that. 
Same with this, this little paramedic ambulance. I believe this was a Chevy. Or well, is a Chevy ambulance. Fortunately, they don't make this one anymore. I've got a busted up carded one somewhere. And remember this model from a kid as well. And I believe this one is actually from the Stow and Go set back at the 90s. Or it was just released in, on the single pack like that. So, very cool. Nice looking ambulance. Really cool. Brings back memories as well. I think the ones I had was the fluoro green one and then a couple of other variations or whatever. Still really cool. Now the last guy from the swap meet, the little Chev truck here. Remember this one greatly as a kid. Always played with it on my NASCAR styled um, track. It had like a launcher like that you had to do. It was like a, you know, an arm swung out and threw the car around the little oval part of the track if that makes sense it was so much fun and um well that's why i got this little guy out because this is the little guy i had when i was a kid this is the truck i actually used you can see a few dints there on the front everyone's probably going what dints and on the back nothing really in the back because you wouldn't want to run into a chevy driver they'd probably end up beating the crap out of you just kidding really cool i thought there was a bit of a variation because I, that didn't look familiar. I thought it had the Hot Wheels symbol. That's why I bought it. But still, you can't go wrong with the old little Chevy trucks. You can't go wrong with cars you had from your childhood either. It brings back so many memories. That's why I bought these other three out as well. I've said in previous vids that I had one as a kid. Well, this is the one I actually had from when I was a kid. As you can see, the, pretty much the only problem, the little dent on the whip... Um, on the rear view mirror thing there. Pretty much that's about it. Other than that, she's in not too bad shape. Didn't really chuck my cars around too much as a kid. I know there was a few here and there. I, what were already beaten up, we just beat up even more. But And these two here, had these two as a kid as well. The old Byway Mans. Got this one with the normal, I think that's construction tyre rims I, I believe big old bow tie remember this series greatly as a kid as well I, I think I've got almost every single Chevy branded vehicle from the Hot Wheels race team series when I was a kid I know dad bought them like they were going out of fashion but they were pretty cool went and had a look in my box and they were all still in there all hiding hiding away still so it was really cool to discover these again that's why I've got when I bought this one I immediately went and checked my other well immediately went to the box and checked them out to see if there was a difference and stumbled across these I'll be putting these on my shelf somewhere definitely love the old chrome Chevy truck such a tough as truck absolutely love it as I said brings back a lot of great memories from when I was a kid well, that's pretty much it for this week, ladies and gentlemen. Actually, another thing I, I was a bit disappointed with today was um, got up to have a look at the NASCAR, old Daytona, see Mighty Chevy have a win, but it was rained out. I was a bit disappointed, but nevertheless, hope it's on tomorrow. Remember, as always, go Chevrolet. But anyway, that that's the way it is, I guess. Can't always have things go your way all the time, but... Anyway, that, that's just the way it is, everyone. Well, that's it of me jabbering on this week, ladies and gentlemen. Really hope you enjoyed. Thank you, subscribers. Thank you, whoever tunes in each and every week to hear me jabber on about Chevy and all my stuff I find. I, I really appreciate it, guys and girls. I know I say that all the time, but I really do. Thank you very much, everyone. Really appreciate it. Well, that is it for this week, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoyed. And remember, as always, everyone... Happy hunting. Keep the hobby strong. See you later, everyone. Have an awesome week.